Good morning, Yellow Jackets. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Today, remember the Americans and all those who died on September 11, 2001, in New York City, in Pennsylvania, and in Washington, D.C. 9-11 is numbers and directions. Almost 2,900, over 2,900 people died on 9-11, 265 in four aircraft. Ten times as many on the ground in New York City, over 2,650 people, and 125 people died in the Pentagon. Of those numbers, 415 firefighters and policemen died going up when everybody else was going down in the World Trade Center before they collapsed. Todd Beamer and the other members of the, of the passengers on Flight 93 went forward in the aircraft rather than stay where they were or even retreat. They went forward and they counted themselves as Americans standing up for what was right. Today, as we remember the 2,900 plus who died, we are grateful for them standing up and going forward and counting themselves as being required to do their duty when the time came. So today, think about those who died going forward and going up. They did it for you. Take a few minutes to reflect today and remember those who went before us. Good morning, Arlington Heights. It's Friday, September 11th, Patriot Day. We made it through one week of school and hopefully everyone is doing well. Today is a B day. Students, that means that you will need to log into your fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth period classes. Remember, attendance is important, so please make sure that you're communicating with your teachers through your school email. And now, a message from Coach Lizenby, our volleyball coach. Hey, Heights Nation, how are you doing today? I'm Coach Lizenby, the girls' head volleyball coach. Um, we have a fantastic season started off. Our program over the last three years has really grown. We had had about 85 girls signed up for volleyball this year. Uh, we're looking forward to having a great season, and we hope that you all support us as much as you possibly can. Um, the girls will not be, we will not be allowed to have fans this year at this time at our volleyball games, but we will be live streaming all of the games. So please visit our HOTS Facebook page in order to get the information for the streaming to see all of the girls play. We hope that all their friends and family will join us in the live streaming. We have an amazing team this year. Um, we ha oh, I'm sorry, guys. We have about um, five seniors that I've been with for the past four years since I've been here at Heights. These girls are amazing athletes. Jordan Jacobs, Sierra Rubicaba, Maggie Robertson, Ever Dodson, and Jacqueline Lawrence. We also have one other senior that I could not do without. She's our manager. That is Amira Lee. And these girls are the heart and soul of this program. I'm so blessed and proud to have them and look forward to a fantastic season. Tomorrow night we play at South Hills at 5 o'clock. So please look for that live streaming. Um, we also are participating in a SNAP fundraiser for the next 30 days. You can visit any one of the girls uh, to get more information on that or their social media pages. That information is posted, and anything helps us 
in providing more equipment and volleyball uh, needed uh, items for them. So thank you all that have already supported them and will continue to support them. I appreciate the opportunity to visit with you and welcome everybody that wants to help support the volleyball girls. And I cannot say enough about our amazing coaching staff as well. Um, my JV assistant coach is Cache Johnson, and our freshman coach this year is Alec Rourke. They are great teachers and great coaches. Our girls' teams are exploding with excitement and having a great time learning lots of new volleyball skills. So please come out and support us this year. Thank you very much. Good morning. I'm Angie Hisselbrock and my caseload is the 11th and 12th graders with last names O through Z. Did you know that all school counselors in the state of Texas have to be classroom teachers before they're allowed to be a school counselor? This means that we have a lot of experience with the academic side of things. And while you may know us as the people who handle your progression plan, your college applications, your schedules, etc., you may not have been aware that all school counselors are also trained in social emotional needs as well. So when you think of who can help me on campus, please don't forget that your school counselor is always here to listen. Hey seniors, welcome to your senior year. We are so excited to meet the class of 2021. My name is Mrs. Lopez and I'm one of your senior sponsors. I'm Mr. Garcia, I'm also one of your senior sponsors and I'm truly excited to get to meet all of y'all. So we're so excited to meet you guys. We wanna introduce you to your senior class sponsor. So there's one more sponsor that we wanna introduce you to. Hey, what up out there, seniors from a virtual world from the Lopez Casa? This is Mr. Lopez. I am so excited for this uh, 2021 school year, and can I wait to see what you're going to bring to the table? So let's get ready to rock it. Let's get ready to roll it. And looking forward to starting this year out with every one of you. We just wanted to let you know, seniors, to make sure that you check your email because the senior steering applications have gone out. So if you're interested in making decisions about prom, homecoming and other senior events that we may have then make sure that you fill out that application in your email we're so excited to meet you when you come back on campus have a great day